Hi there, it's Lori at thenovastudio.com. And I wanted to speak a little bit about organization, specifically when we're um, getting information, we're collecting recipes, we're taking classes, we're purchasing handouts and e-classes, and we need to keep track of all of this, right? So we can best utilize the information. So I wanted to share two types of organization that I recommend that you do uh, if you're one of our students. And the first one is having um, an actual three ring binder to keep track of all of your handouts, which contain the recipes and the instructions. Still to this day, no matter how many times I've made recipes, I still go to the binder. I still open the instructions. I still open the handouts, check the instructions and use those recipe sheets. So it really helps for me to keep it in a three ring binder, something I can edit, I can open, I can close, I can rearrange. And this is actually a cover sheet from a four day bath and body boot camp that I had ages ago. So I just left this cover sheet, but you can make something nice for yourself, something that you like to look at that makes you happy. And basically I just have dividers here. You know, this uh, says lotions and creams, perfumes, body butters, fizzies, um, you know, each of the different topics of the classes that I'm taking or the products that I'm interested in making. So that's how I keep things in a three ring binder as far as classes and handouts go so that I always know where to access them. The other way that I do this is through the computer because you have to put these handouts in a certain place in order to print them out, right? So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm going to show the way that um, I keep organization on my computer. So basically I just go to my, um, whatever this thing is called down here, the, uh, the file, I think it's called File Explorer on a, on a PC. And I created a folder. This one just happens to be under my documents, but you can put it wherever you keep your, um, your folders and your documents. And I created a folder here called the Nova Studio. And underneath that, I'd suggest creating a separate folder for each product type. So for instance, body butters, fizzy bath bombs, and you just um, right click. I think everybody knows how to do this by now. New folder. And this one is gonna be called um, natural perfumes, right? And so you just make a folder for each different topic that you've either purchased handouts for or that you're collecting recipes for. And then inside of that, is where you'll put your handouts. And in addition to putting handouts, you can put things like, we have the blank fizzies worksheet. That's something that we had in a blog post. And if it's a PDF, once you open up the link for the PDF, you just go to the download link, the download icon. And I just always open everything I find if I try to save it first, it sometimes goes somewhere strange or somewhere that I don't want it to go. So you go ahead and you open up um, your, whatever your PDF reader is. And I think mine's just taking a minute to open up. Yep, there it comes. So once you get it to open up, then you can do a file, save as, and then you can select the folder that you had previously created, right? So let's let this pull up. I'm gonna choose a different folder. My computer is a little bit slow right now because I'm using Zoom, I'm on Zoom. So I'm gonna come back down here. I'm gonna find my Nova Studio folder. I'm gonna go to Fizzy, oh, Bat Bombs. I spelled it wrong. Fizzy bath bombs. And I'm gonna make sure it's in that folder and I'm just gonna hit save. So now when I go back here to fizzy bath bombs, there it is right there. And I'm gonna update the properties, which is where you have the name. Oh, there we go, fizzy bath bombs. Yep. So, oh. It can't be edited because I have it open somewhere. Okay. So anyway, I'll close everything and then go ahead and um, fix my typo there. But I hope this was helpful. Basically just letting you know um, one way that you could organize both your digital files 
and your hard copy files. I don't know, some people might be okay just referencing them online. I'm the type of person who likes to print them out and refer to them and read them and take notes and things like that. So those are your two different options, three ring binder and um, computer files. Hope that was helpful. Uh, if there's a topic that you're interested in uh, hearing my input about, let me know and maybe I'll do a short video on it. Thanks for watching. See you later.